So, as everyone obviously knows, Sonic had a very rough transition into 3D. Don't worry everyone, I'm not a game journalist. And so, as you've read in the title, the topic of today's video, I'm going to be covering my opinion on what is the worst Sonic game. Let me reiterate that, this is my opinion. I don't want you to go out there attacking me or anyone else in the comments for having a different opinion to yours. So, let's get started. A lot of the top competitors for the worst Sonic game ever since his transition into 3D with Sonic Adventure have been very notable names like Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. But I've got a fair few others to consider and there are a lot of them that did and didn't make the cut. So let's start by talking about Sonic 06. Everyone knows the story about the rushed game that started the descent of Sonic and it was just like battle around, glitchy, messy, incomplete, the story was bad. Everyone knows the criticism of this game and I've already talked about this before on the channel so I'll make it brief. I think that Sonic 06, yeah, it's a really bad game, and but it has a few, and I mean say this, a few redeemable qualities. While it did have ambition, I'm not going to use that as a method of justifying it because no one cares about ambition if the end product turned out like crap. And so what we're left with is a game with good music, which is one thing. It has some pretty decent level design, so like Project 06, for example, really shows like how good the level design in 06 was, but the level design is wasted when your character can glitch through the floor at random times and just break the game. So a lot of the stuff was wasted from it, I'm not going to be using Project 06 as Sonic 06's entry because, well, that would be cheating. So Sonic 06 really... There's only a few redeemable qualities, and it just shows that had it been given more work, it could have turned out great, but unfortunately, it wasn't. It is definitely one of the worst Sonic games of all time. But is it my least favorite? Well, I guess you'll just have to find out. Watch till the end. The second competitor people bring up a lot is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Now, I think... This one, it's an interesting case, because at launch, it was very, very glitchy, but in the end, a lot of the glitches were patched out. It's still not a great time. It lags a lot, it's just overall kind of poor looking, it's just, it's not fun. It's a very bad game, but it's not as broken as Sonic 06 is. Your Sonic 06, that never received any patches, but Sonic Boom Rise of came out at a time where games could get patches. And yeah, so overall, like, I think Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is just a mediocre Ratchet and Clank game. It's like, fine, but it's definitely not a good game. There's a lot of slowdown, it's just overall unfun, the story is atrocious. And I want to say that there was a lot of missed potential on this one, but eh, it was not great overall. The third competitor people bring up, and this is certainly a recent one, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now I'm going to say, I have made a review of this game, so check that out if you don't want to watch this bit. So Sonic Colors Ultimate is a perfectly fine game. It's a good remaster of the 2010 Wii game that I enjoy, but a lot of people don't, and while it does have a lot of glitches, it's still playable from start to finish. And I encountered none of those glitches on my playthrough, so I had a really good time with Sonic Colors Ultimate, and while I can understand that a lot of people didn't, I'm judging it based on what I experienced with the game. So Sonic Colors Ultimate, definitely not my pick for the worst Sonic game. Now, the fourth pick, I think you're all familiar with this one, Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces is the most recent mainline Sonic game other than Sonic Colors Ultimate, and has released a very mixed reception. People are calling it an underwhelming, underdeveloped, undercooked game that just released, and that's all there is about it. My take on it is, yeah, it just released. It was a fine game that I had some fun with, but it's definitely an underdeveloped Sonic Generations. It had a lot of great ideas, and it's perfectly fine in terms of glitches, like, there were no glitches up during my playthrough, at least none that I could notice at the time. If you looked at it closely, maybe you'd find one or two things, but it's a generally a rock-solid game in terms of glitches. Just hopefully Sega gets more development time on the next game. 
rather than spending the whole time working on the lighting engine. So, Sonic Forces, also not one of my picks. So, now to go on to a few more obscure picks, we have the Sonic 1 GBA version. Now, I played this one a very long time ago, so my perception on it, not the greatest, but overall, back then, I thought it was okay, but I guess I was younger then, so I got my friend's GBA and I started playing it again, and it was not good. The screen crunch was horrible, the slowdown, but again, there's a big but, it was not that broken, I guess you could say. It was bad, don't get me wrong, and definitely not the, be the best way to play Sonic 1, but if it's all you had, I guess it was okay? But it's not as bad as people say, but it's still not great. Although, the worst game in the Sonic franchise? Definitely not. Another p pick people have is an obscure one, which is Sonic Labyrinth. Now, I've personally never played this one, so I can't weigh in, but it definitely looks as a step in the wrong direction. And it just, for me, looking at the gameplay footage, it just does not look fun to play. However, I can't weigh in on this myself because I haven't played Sonic Labyrinth. I mean, name me one person who has. Please, I'm begging you. If someone who's played Sonic Labyrinth, please comment down below and tell me how bad it is. I want to know. So. Our picks still lie as a standard Sonic 06 or Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, and, well, I think I'm going to add one more to the list. The Sonic game that I think is pretty bad myself is... And then, our final competitor for worst Sonic game, Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, this was an interesting one, as was seen as a stumble for the franchise, not more of like a pure crash. Well, not even a stumble, it was more like a slight misstep. They gave Shadow a gun, and everyone knows the story of Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, that was certainly an interesting game. But it had some genuinely bad design choices, like 10-story ending, when you get one true ending that just invalidates all the other ones, so that was kind of stupid. But all in all, it was just like a more slippery version of Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow. It was fine overall, I didn't encounter anything major like that stopped me from playing the game. It was just the story was toned up way too edgy, but it wasn't that bad of a game, actually. It was just a slipper, slipperier version of Adventure Sonic, but it was Shadow, and the story was horrible, and it had some pretty bad design choices. But all in all, Shadow the Hedgehog, not as bad as people think. So, as we get down to it, we have two competitors for the worst Sonic game. Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Who knew that it would end up here? Well, it's time to make a choice. And my pick for the worst Sonic game would have to be Sonic 06. I know it's a pretty cliche type stereotype, but I don't think there has been another Sonic game that is genuinely as unplayable as this. Or is there? That's right, Sonic and the Secret Rings is my pick for the worst Sonic game of all time. It just downright controls poorly on the Wii, and it doesn't even look that good. The game's level design gets stale, it throws you in with like, a bunch of tutorial stages that are really annoying. Again, it controls super poorly, and it just doesn't feel good to play. But all of its issues were ironed out in the sequel Sonic and the Black Knight, but Sonic and the Secret Rings was a companion app to Sonic 06, and it's only fitting that it was the one game that's worse. Sonic and the Secret Rings only has a few redeeming qualities, and they aren't enough to save it from this fate. The cutscenes are in nice 2D art style, and the music is pretty good, but that's about it. Sonic and the Secret Rings overall was a disappointment of a game, and they should have just spent that time developing Sonic 06, to be honest. Would have been made much easier on them. Maybe Sonic 06 wouldn't have turned out so bad if they didn't split development. Sonic and the Secret Rings is an embarrassment to the franchise. It controls poorly, it's really slippery, it takes away the sense of speed and control you have over Sonic, and... It's kind of sad to see that this was the game we got, 
And this was what we sacrificed Sonic 06's quality for. Definitely not worth it. So, that's it. Sonic and the Secret Rings is the worst Sonic game of all time. Thanks for watching. That's it for me, Devron, signing off. I'm going to make an announcement. Subscribe and like the video right now or I will come to your house and eat all your chili dogs.